This is going to be a little bit of a rant. Meghan Markle did to be or not to be. You're not strong. You're a bitch. You're a bully. That's what you are. Those two. You're abusive. And these are my thoughts and opinions. That's not strength when you lie and slander about others in order to make yourself feel better or to make yourself relevant. As usual, please like, share, and subscribe, guys. I really appreciate your, your support. Uh, thanks for all the help. Thanks for the super thanks to all of you. It is going to be a little bit of an angry video from what you can see from now. <laughs> Hello, beautiful people. <clears throat> Just a short video before I take off. Um, and you still you haven't told me where do you think I'm going. Anyways, uh, Meghan Markle's latest podcast, you know, on Stupefy, you know, I never listen to it, but I do read what it says. Now she's saying that not everybody is going to like you, but they should respect you. And claims difficult is a code word for bitch used to gaslight strong women. <sighs> that is an advice that she herself should take because she's not a strong woman if she needs a man or to bully people to feel good about herself. She's not a strong woman when she needs to step on people and put them down in order to feel good about herself, beginning with her disabled sister. That email that she wrote to Jason Knopf for him to give to Omid Scoby, that was disgusting. She wasn't being strong. She was being a bully and a liar because Everything that she was doing there was to put down another woman who happened to be her sister, her disabled sister who has, Samantha has achieved so much in a, in a wheelchair that Meghan Markle wishes she had achieved on her own. You know, and, I mean, Samantha has a master. She's, she's never had to be with a man to get anywhere, to go anywhere. So for Meghan Markle to say that, um, you know, woman, you know, Megan, just admit that you're a bully, you know, enjoy it, thrive on it. You're not a strong woman. You have used men. You have discarded people. Um, being a bully is not being strong. Being a bully is somebody who's abusive. And the fact that you have no family, nor friends, long-term friends says a lot about you. Because you can't hold on to relationships because you are a bully. You are not a genuine person. You, you haven't achieved anything on your own at all. So can you please show me where are you strong? Now, Meghan Markle features two more close friends. Melody Hobson, the chairwoman of Starbucks. who just, She just met her now through Harry. Okay, and Victoria Jackson, never heard of her, that, 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 the makeup mogul. Now they're close friends. All these people she just met, thanks to a man, because she has access to her husband's uh, Rolodex of, you know, calling cards. Other than that, this is not a woman who's achieved anything. Nobody's ever heard of her. And by the way, where is your strength? Have you taken a stand on the elections in California? Are you endorsing any Democratic candidate, especially the black one? Are you speaking out against uh, Mrs. Uh, Ted Sarandos because she's openly endorsing a Republican candidate in California? Have you paid your taxes, Megan? Or why? Did you register your companies in Delaware, which is the tax evasion haven for Democrats like you, while you're claiming or fighting for rights and programs paid for by the government, by the taxpayers, while you're evading to pay or trying to evade paying as much taxes as possible. All of these programs, the money has to come from somewhere. Okay, so using a royal title doesn't make you strong makes you an exploitation makes you exploitative you're exploiting somebody else's titles that they don't belong to you you're not strong you're weak and you're a, you're an, a weak abusive person who managed to get herself a huge platform in order to step on others abuse others 
that's a big difference that's a big difference okay you cannot say i'm strong or people don't like me because you know i'm strong no people don't like you because you're a liar people don't like you because you slander others people don't like you because you pretend to be somebody you're not you're not a naive schoolgirl, which you're so desperate to be. I don't know why, because just because Princess Diana was a naive schoolgirl, trust me, girl, you've been around the block so many times, there's already a path with your name on it, okay? You are a used up Hollywood reject. You're not strong, okay? Strength requires to own up to the truth, which you haven't. You know, when you're capable of owning up to the truth and saying sorry, that takes courage. You should apologize to your sister for the lies you said uh, through an email to Jason Kanoff in order to be published in that book. You should apologize to the people for the perjury you committed in the United Kingdom courts. And you're lucky that the woke Repub Democrats are backing you up. But you're an embarrassment. You're not strong. You're the weakest person I know. Because if you need to lie as much as you do, it's because you're not happy with who you are. And the worst part of it all is that you think we're stupid. And your lies are so public. Lying doesn't require strength. Being truthful does. Start apologizing to people and maybe someday, you know, you'll know what being a strong woman is. You don't know what it's like to have two jobs to, to feed your kid like a single mother. You don't know how about poverty or, you know, you, you don't know anything. You know who's strong? P. Dinah. She is a lady, a black lady who really knew poverty and who's made a lot of herself. She's strong. Samantha Markle is strong. You? You're just a, an opportun opportunist who takes advantage of people and situations. That's the difference. You're a grifter. You're a liar and you're a fraud. Okay? And you're using people. You're using your children. You're using that idiot that you call a husband. But people like me call you out because you are a disgrace as a woman and you are a disgrace for your family. You're a disgrace for the United Kingdom that you still are allowed to use your husband's title. You're a disgrace for the Commonwealth. Uh, you disgust me as a human being because I have never seen somebody who is so nasty and who had a chance to have such a huge platform to actually do real good. I am a nobody with a little small platform and I tried, you know, to help my school and, you know, it really angers me because, you know, we, we don't have sponsors, people are because of the country situation, we don't have any money to help these people. It's a real struggle and you had an opportunity to do something great. Harry and Meghan talk about privacy and Oprah say, no, they wanted to be private while talking about their public work. But the only thing they've talked about in Oprah and the Me You Can't See in the Finding Freedom book is about private personal stuff. They don't talk about their work or what they're doing or everything. No, that is all a secret. But their personal, most intimate stuff, even the one that's, that is made up, is aired everywhere. I mean, what do you guys think? Do you, do you think she's strong? How can I, a nobody, I, you know, with the little school I have, it's, it's a lot of kids. Yes, it is, it is quite a stressful situation to try to feed them because, you know, that's the only incentive they have to come to the school because otherwise they don't eat because they don't have any food at home. And I don't have the access or the platform that Meghan Markle has. She was given that. It was a gift and she spat on it. She should have used it for good. Instead, she's charging for it. It is an embarrassment, you know, so you're not strong. You're a bitch.